Many players struggle to deal with rail fans since they do to your outsides what Taco Bell does to your insides, so today I'm going to demonstrate how to rail fan. Rail fanning, or fanning as it's often called, is rotating your ship so that all of your spinal railguns will align with your given target and focus an immense amount of damage. Let's pretend you already built a rail fan, similar to the one I have here. Rail fans, as do all ships, require some non-construction and non-crew preparations that I'm going to go over now. Priming your ship is a mandatory part of having a functional rail fan, and it's not a surprise that it's often missed since there's actually no physical or discernible indication. So the first necessary thing is to hotkey your railguns. You can do this by either double clicking or shift clicking all of your railguns then pressing control plus a number. I personally like only selecting the launcher since it's cleaner, but there's functionally no difference. The next thing is to set your rails to only fire on the target, otherwise they'll always misfire. So what just happened is the rails fired as soon as they could deal damage, but the issue is it's not relevant damage. So setting the rails to only fire on target guarantees that the rails only fire at the intended target, which we can set now and demonstrate. A key part in successful rail fanning is setting your target, or where you want your ship to fire at, which there's multiple ways to do. If your ship is already in an attack command or you're using DC, all you have to do is right click the desired part to target it. Attempting to right click while outside of an attack command or direct control instead of targeting will issue an attack command. However, the best way to target is to take advantage of the hotkey that was set earlier, which was why it was set. If you press 1, you're only controlling and ordering your railguns and can right click parts freely to target them. Holding shift while using any of these targeting methods will allow your targets to be queued up. After you've set your target, you need to fan your ship back and forth. If your ship is inside of an attack command, strafe command, or is currently idle, you can quickly rotate your ship by pressing the rotate hotkey R and aiming on the opposite side of where your ship is facing. As your ship rotates, the rails will fire sequentially as they each line up with the target. If your ship is currently in a move command, it needs to be cancelled or overridden, as any rotation commands will only take effect after your ship is near its destination. Now that I've covered the mechanical basics of rail fanning, I can get into some more advanced targeting practices to improve your accuracy. It's worth noting, however, that these aren't mandatory, and take a lot of attention for relatively little impact. The first of these methods is to aim behind your target, particularly large ones like the bigger reactors or control rooms. Since your aim is behind the target, you still end up hitting the actual priority on the way there. Similar to your rails firing too early if they're given no target, they can fire too early here as well, barely missing, which is what this strategy intends to mitigate. The other tactic is to lead your target, or to aim slightly off to account for your opponent's movement. Railguns have one of the highest projectile velocities in the game, but are still slow enough that accuracy suffers against agile opponents at long range. So if your opponent is moving left relative to your ship and you expect them to continue doing so, aiming to the left of your actual target by a few tiles can end up being more accurate. Lastly, I'll cover some basic tactics when it comes to actually piloting a railfan in combat. Rotating too quickly as you fan can cause misfires where your projectiles don't clear your armor. You can theoretically use less armor to make your ship less prone to this, but as you're using less armor it's better to account for this by rotating more slowly. It takes some practice to get done effectively and can be very ship dependent, but becomes intuitive over time. Over rotation is where as you fan you present your sides and allow your opponent to shoot around your more durable front. Minimizing over rotation is very important as it can often directly kill you but should be easy to get a grasp on.
As you can see, there's been a lot more damage on the sides because they're not armored. To the best of your abilities, you should attempt to maintain a healthy distance between yourself and your opponent while using a rail fan. Rail guns have the longest range in the game with enough accelerators, and you should try to abuse this as much as possible by shooting at your opponent as they try to engage. Getting a head start in damage is a very valuable property and strength for rail guns. The other reason for maintaining range is that you can more easily focus damage through smaller areas, hitting harder than the Chicxulub impact. As they get closer and engage, the damage you do will be less concentrated due to the fact that your spinal weapons are spread across the entire front of your ship.